Hello everyone, and welcome to Fears to Fathom, Home Alone. The first part in an episodic psychological horror series which is currently free on Steam. I don't know much about this beyond the fact that we play as a 14-year-old boy who's been left home alone. Now as you know, horror basically lives and dies on the premise, and this is a premise that I really think has a lot of potential. So let's go ahead and try it out. Oh. Uh, home Alone and Norwood Hitchhike. Now I saw there is also a store page for Norwood Hitchhike, but I don't think it's available at this time. Uh, okay, so you are playing episode one. More episodes are coming soon. Okay, so it already has its menu option, but it is not yet playable. Now, as you can see, we have kind of a faux VHS look, not just in the font, but in terms of actual effects on the screen. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. Based on the tone of this, I kind of wonder if this is maybe based on no sleep stories. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. Now it's kind of strange that they've chosen to go for this faux VHS look, because this presumably, if we're mentioning Reddit, takes place in the modern day, right? But then again, looking around, this could also be, I mean, this almost seems like it's going for a 90s aesthetic. So I guess we'll find out. Now I was told that this game... Oh no, yeah, so te text messages, so it does take place in the modern day. So what's with the VHS look? Maybe it's something that'll make more sense when, uh, when the other episodes come out. Now how do I check text messages? Ah, uh, escape. Wait, when are you guys gonna be back? Dad and I are gonna be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night? For homework, of course. Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Dad and I may even be back by Sunday evening. I hear things. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably order some pizza. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Uh, messages, Mason, Oliver. Yo, yo. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Heard Josh coming too. Uh, boring, boring teenager stuff. Play Mario Kart, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I guess, okay, I don't have a flashlight. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. What is this, the Stanley Parable of Horror Stories? Hello? Is that my driveway? See, that was framed kind of ambiguously because I can't tell if that's somebody just walking by or in their own driveway, or if they were actually looking up at the window. That's something that was kind of nice about the way that animation was timed, was that it's done just weirdly enough to catch your attention, and it's kind of strange.
Now, in terms of premise, this is actually kind of similar to a Gary's mod map that I recently played titled The Break-In. Uh, see, this this film grain that's present in the shadows actually makes it a little bit difficult to see. Alright, so what am I doing? Am I supposed to get that lasagna out of the fridge? There we go. Throw? Food was cold. Well, yeah, I got it out of the fridge. Probably want to put it in the oven. How do I know when it's done? Now, according to those text messages, we should be expecting a knock on the door at any time. But it did warn me to check through the blinds to make sure it's... Oh, that's cool. So, to check through the blinds, I approach the window and they'll automatically open. And then I have to crouch down to peek under them. That's kind of cool. Food was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. Alright, where's the old TV... Probably over here, right? Ooh, the Grinch. Now this is an unnerving angle. Sitting at home alone in the dark, watching TV, trying to distract yourself from the overwhelming sense of isolation and knowing that you're alone in this big dark house, but there's that open doorway. And you're not quite spooked enough to justify turning on the lights, but as you watch and eat, you can't help but constantly glance over there. There's somebody out there. Hang on, wait. Uh, come on, finish up, finish up. Um, um, um. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Man, you just got up. Not that I can't relate. Uh, I, I don't see anyone. Text messages. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. By the way, you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Alright, um... Oh, I can't send the text, that's lame. Alright, um... Yeah, somebody's definitely stalking about. Also, the... Okay, the music from that TV is not helping. But you know what? It's really nailing the Home Alone vibe right now, because... On the one hand, I... That's a side door. That's a side door, that... Did somebody come in? Uh... I can't sprint. Um... Okay, while I was sitting there, I saw somebody walking along this way. Oh, that is so creepy. I didn't hear a thing over the sound of the TV. And that's what I was saying before, is that... On the one hand, you want to have the TV on for the comforting noise, but also... Once you think about it, you really just realize that you can't hear anything that's going on around you. Okay, well, forget peeking out the blinds. I gotta sweep this place. We're past that point. I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. I guess that's the other friend. It's so dark in here. What other rooms are there? Beyond that, there's just my room, right? Now, it's saying that I was pretty tired, so I should go to sleep, but I can't just ignore that door being open. Also, I'm now realizing this place seems to lack a bathroom. It's an oblivion house. Is this a door right here? No. I 
am so... What reasonable person would go to sleep at a time like this? I guess I don't have any other choice. Nothing else is happening. I guess I just have to be... a horror movie dumb person. I must say, though, this game is nailing its vibe just perfectly. It really captures the anxieties associated with being home alone. The lighting and mood. I mean, this is first night home alone vibe, when you know you're going to be alone for the whole weekend, and it just starts to dawn on you that this is how it's going to be for the next few days. And I really like how it's been such a slow burn where the scares have been really subtle. Hardly scares at all, really. Just enough to have you concerned that there's something going on here. I was trying to read the book, but okay, I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Okay, I was going to say, I was trying to read the book. I don't understand why I fell asleep, but I guess I didn't. And now night has fallen. I I know my character said they were sleepy, but I feel like I should not be going to bed. This is Mom now. Uh, we're going to have to call it... Oh, no. Chill out, dude. It's all good. Probably just go to bed after Kim. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paul at this time. Okay, so my friends didn't come, but my parents are still under the assumption that they did. Now, I was told not to stay up too late, but I'm also not sure if this game maybe has multiple endings. Maybe my decisions actually make a difference. Did I close the door to my parents' room before? I think maybe I did, but I'm not totally sure. I feel like I should do one more sweep. Just in case, just in case that this game's expecting me to miss something. Uh, the ambient sounds of this map are great. There's a very downplayed score, but also sound effects that I guess could be part of the score, but also sound like the creaks and groans of a house settling, the kind of thing that you wouldn't normally notice in the day-to-day, -day, but when you're suddenly left alone by yourself, become very apparent. These stairs are very, very irritating in this slow speed. I got up to get some water. Oh, it is really dark now. Okay, I thought that was some banging. Or is it? It got louder when I came over here. I can't tell if that's part of the score or not. Oh, it is so dark, and the film grain makes it so hard to see in that dark. I can't tell which sounds I should be concerned about. Let's peek outside again. I know I saw somebody walking by the window before. Are there lights I can turn on? No. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm so tense. I don't like how the music is building. All right, thank you for considering me. Water. Right click to drink. I'm so paranoid. I could have sworn I maybe just saw somebody through the bars move away, through the slats in the railing, but that could just be me. That could just be the job that this game is doing of getting me on edge. Do I just go back to bed? The TV is on. And I can't turn it off. 
Wait, no signal. No signal. Has the cable been cut? The door is still closed, but the fact that no one else has come in doesn't really... Did something just load? The fact that nobody else has come in does nothing to assuage my fears because it would be even worse if I've been just hanging out for a few hours and whoever came in before has been here the entire time. Cannot use the light switch. Am I just going back to bed or am I meant to drink this whole thing? Miles, who's at the door? You there? Who's at the door? Is that my friend across the street? Hang on, wait. No, that's from mom. How how does this work? Okay. I'm I'm confused about what's going on with the text messages right now. Hang on. Get get rid of that bottle. Uh <laughs> Uh, the old man from night delivery? I mean, not night delivery, the caregiver. Uh, do I answer the door or do I... I'm going to look at the text first. Paula sent me. Said she's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Um, okay, how do I lock the doors? That's not how you do it. Okay, I'm just going to go to the room. She keeps referring to kids, plural. I'm the only one here. Okay, it's a good thing I looked at the texts before answering. Click to hide? Wait. How? How? No, bring it back. Bring it back! Bring back click to hide! Where did that go? Click to hide. How, was I just activating the fact that I'm hiding in this room? I clearly heard that... Click to hide. Okay, I had to hide in the bed. Under the bed. Now that doorbell is quite scary considering I already heard glass break. It's Paula at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, I don't even believe that for a second. That doorbell is even scarier knowing that glass is broken, meaning this person can already get in. So that doorbell is just bait to draw me out. Not gonna happen. I really hope this isn't going to be one of those things where it makes me get up and investigate because I feel like the very smart thing to do right now would just be to stay put. I really don't think it would make me wait this long. I'm going to go look. But I am, of course, going to check the blinds. Then again, checking the blinds may not do much for me because... As we established, a window has been broken. I could have sworn I just heard footsteps as I opened the door. Oh, I don't like those creaking floorboards. <laughs> no. 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 Which do I go to? No! Okay. And the game crashed, I think. I think the game crashed. I wasn't even trying to investigate the door. I was literally trying to creep around that to go down the stairs. 
I really don't know what it wanted me to do. Maybe just go back to my room? It said lock every door and hide in your room, but I don't see any way to lock the doors, so I'm just gonna go hide. All right, at this point we emerge from under the bed. Come out here. This happens. And then what do I do? The throw mechanic is quite conspicuous. I'm holding onto the water bottle in case that's what I need to do. But what happens if I hide again? Okay, stuff's happening. And of course, it could be another trick if this thing can... Yep, that indeed was a trick. Then again, there's the flashing lights. A game by rail... What? I won? I can still press space to get up. Is this another trick? The police is here. Am I supposed to make my way down then? And no, the game doesn't end, it just goes back to desktop. So that was Fears to Fathom Part 1, and all in all, I quite enjoyed that. It really nailed the whole vibe of being home alone, and didn't ruin it by going too hard too early and ruining that slow burn. Because let's be real, being home alone is all about that anxiety, that jumping at every creak and noise in an otherwise familiar place that is basically, like, as safe as you can get. The ending was something of an anticlimax, but maybe it's not meant to be taken as an ending. Maybe these aren't supposed to be an anthology, maybe they're all pieces of one greater story. So it might all end up making more sense in context. I must say, I don't really get the point of the VHS aesthetic, since it does take place in the modern day and we're looking at, like, iPhone text messages. I don't really know why that was done, to be honest. It does sort of remind me, though, in more ways than one, of the Chillizart games that I've played. The thing I've always praised about those games is that their shorter length and cheaper price, in this case free, means that they have more of a tone of... I guess I would describe it as a narrow focus that takes the tone less as that of a game and more of one that's a creepy story of something that happened to someone. And in this case, that's actually exactly how it's framed. It's basically framed as a story that someone is telling on Reddit, kind of like a no-sleep story, which kind of makes me wonder if it's not inspired by posts from there. If you want to try this game for yourself, it's free on Steam and I'll be providing a link in the description. If you have any suggestions for videos you want me to do in the future, the best place to do that is at the Discord, also linked in the description. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.